travels now take us to Portland, Connecticut. Jim Masters here at Winchester Cafe, a really, really good place. Casual, friendly, neighborhood, good food, home cooking, home style, live entertainment, karaoke, live music, all kinds of good stuff. Real family fun atmosphere and good food, and we're going to go in and check it out right now. Can't wait. I hear they make a great steak. Let's check it out now. Chef Jason Drago at Winchester. Oh, they're cheering for you already. Yeah, they know. They <laughs> want that food. Good they to love meet it. you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> I shake your hands, but you got gloves on. I got my gloves on. on. You're going to make something that's a signature item here yep. at Winchester. What is it? It's our steakhouse salad. It's a nice New York strip that we hand cut here in house. Nice fresh tomatoes, shaved red onion, and some crumbled blue cheese. Yeah. Ranch, and then the vinegar and olive oil come into play. It's a nice combination. So you're going to make this? We're yep. going to watch you do it, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. This amazing dish. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, look how juicy that is. You know where this is gonna go? Right here. That is amazing. Did it come out good? Compliments to the chef. Thank you. Donna Graybeck, the owner, and joining us once again is the chef Jason Drago. Good to see you both. Donna, I wanted to ask you, there's a lot of history to this restaurant, this cafe. Tell us a little bit about the backstory. This started with your father initially, right? It's a breakfast place. Tell us about that. In 1947, my dad wanted to get out of the music business, and so he decided to open a little hot dog place for a couple of years. And it expanded and expanded, and 35 years later, he was still here. So I decided to come back from Las Vegas and turn it into a bar and restaurant, which he did not approve of. And I said, well, I'll do it for a few years, and 35 years later, I'm still here. So it does have a lot of family history, and we, uh, let's keep going. You know what I really like is the character of this building. I mean, it has sort of a Western feel. Now, you were an entertainer, you lived out West, you had told me. A lot of these artifacts you brought here from your travels, right? Yeah, when I was out west, um, I just enjoyed the horses, the cowboys when I was a kid, all those 1950s um, TV shows that were on, and I thought it was just a comfortable atmosphere that wasn't too fancy, that people could feel comfortable and relax in. And I wanted the food to be the same. Let's talk about the food, because there's so much delicious food here. Chef Jason, tell us about what we have in front, that, that beautiful yellow dish that's in front of you. Tell us what that is. This is what we call our Fred Flintstone style rib, because it's huge, as you can see, piled high. Um, it's just a nice beef short rib, and we smoke it for eight hours first. Then we baste it with our own barbecue sauce, put it in the oven, and roast it so it gets nice and charred and crispy and crunchy. Mm, that looks good. This is our egg rolls. We started out one weekend. I said, Don, I want to do something different. I want to do a Philly cheesesteak egg roll. This is our meatloaf, but I wouldn't say it's a typical meatloaf. I call it a bar meatloaf because it's stuffed with bacon and cheddar cheese. Well, I commend you. This is terrific. You've been doing this for over 35 years. That's a long time. It tells you that you're doing it right, so we wish you continued success. Thank you so much. The best to you both and everybody here at Winchester Cafe. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. It's our pleasure. was incredible. All that food you saw was delicious. You got to come here to Portland and check it out, literally on Portland Cobalt Road. Easy to get to from everywhere in Connecticut. At Winchester Cafe in Portland, we had a great time. You will too.